Hello, this is Paul, your BMW Certified Technician. I've completed the diagnosing on the concern for the exhaust system. So I did have to remove some components to actually inspect the actual turbo. And the turbo does have the impeller, which I did find there's an excess of oil. And I did see the oil of the turbo shaft seal is leaking through and it's coming through the exhaust. I did measure the oil, it's at five quarts. I didn't see to be overfilled or anything. And I did also see is your crankcase pressure is out of its specification, which is the actual valve cover. There's a diaphragm that actually fluctuates the crankcase pressure. So that also needs to be replaced. And that's about it. All right, guys, I'm probably gonna be here all day. Um, if you guys didn't see my previous video, uh, or if you guys haven't, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram or any of that, you should just go follow me on Instagram at Chino Wild Wolf. I think I'm gonna do a because we got Wolfgang merch coming out soon. I'm probably gonna do a, like a Wolfgang care package uh, to Instagram followers. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Panda was blowing out super small. Am I the only person that gives their car a name, or do, do you guys give uh, your car a name, or am I just weird? Ouch. So Panda was blowing out stupid smoke out of the tailpipe. The f is that? And it comes to find out that um, oil was leaking. Don't go to Valvoline. Fuck Valvoline. Valvoline, kiss my stupid ass. Oil was leaking out and it was falling into my turbo. And now my turbo is fucked up. And they're saying that it's going to be 10 bands for uh labor and parts etc and fixing it and all that stuff i'm like bro imagine spending 10 g's for a turbo on it uh, like it's over with bro like no <laughs> no so i think i'm just gonna go with another bmw because this was this was super unexpected bro now they got my ass waiting here and i'm gonna test drive some cars and uh i'm gonna just go with one that i, I really like bro i'm gonna have to get a new whip Ouch. You think I'm gonna get another X4? You're dead wrong, boy. I think I'm gonna go with like a car, like a regular car car. Uh, not really digging the SUV uh, anymore. I just want like a like a grown man, bossy kind of kind of uh, car, like something like this. This is cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is actually hard, just because it, I still need. I need something practical, right? I need something that I could take to air. I, I fuck with these. These are kind of cool. I need something kind of big bodied uh, so the dogs can get in. Um, I can take back and forth to Arizona. Damn, I remember Mystic used to have this. Definitely need something. I want something like big bodied, kind of boss looking. I want a, I want a car that I could two tone. I went to go look at Teslas. Um, I don't know, bro. I, I, may, I, was, I Maybe I'm just not ready for that. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine sitting there for 20, 30 minutes charging my whip just because, I, I, you know, I want to go down the street. You know, like the guy was telling me that, you know, if you take a Tesla, that you're going to really have to like schedule and plan it out. Like, okay, here's, this is my trip. And uh, this is what I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I f with this, bro. This big body sh I f with this. This is hard. Or this, this all black joint right here. But I, I don't know, bro. For me, that's just, not, I, I like to like just get up and go and, and just hit the road, you know what I mean? I'm gonna stick with BMW. I couldn't get something like this, bro. That's definitely not practical for my day-to-day, -day, you know what I mean? I, I just realized you guys have seen me like go through multiple cars on this channel. <laughs> I don't know, I just need a daily whip. This is super unexpected. I was like, damn, I thought I was gonna keep Panda for a minute, bro. I mean, it has been a minute. It's been what, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's been like four years. <sighs> This is hard though. I, I, I like this big body. Mess with this black one. The cream interior. How much is this? So this is something I did not expect, nor did I really want to do, uh, but it happened anyway. So we got a brand new BMW 530i. Unfortunately, Panda, we had to RIP to Panda, bro. For those who didn't know, Valve Line, by the way. 
valve line. They were telling me 10 bands, 10 racks to fix the car. I'm like, bro, kiss my ass over with. Imagine, bro, imagine paying 10 bands. No, I'm not doing it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get a different car. I was really looking for something classy, bossy style, but still had enough space. So we went with twin turbo. Really can't see shit in this bitch. Bro, honestly, I feel like they're covering up cars, engines more and more every year, but dude, this one doesn't f up because dude, I don't want to pay for another car. Yeah, so this is like super last minute. Anyways, come inside. Hold on. Actually, matter of fact, go ahead and go ahead and feel the back seat. You guys like that? Like the back seat? Feels nice, right? Yeah. Luxury. Holy sh it's hot, bro. <laughs> this thing's kind of lit, bro. Not gonna lie. At night, this thing glows, bro. The whole inside just lights up. Cool thing about this, compared to my last whip, all digital dash, digital here, digital there. This one's got like the Apple CarPlay, which is lit. So I can go on maps and, oh, you guys are gonna see where I'm at. You know what I mean? I can answer text messages. I'm not gonna open that because no phone calls, but you guys are gonna try and get people's phone numbers and sh uh, music. I, I, I really don't even know all this shit yet. Dual climate control, keep your ass cheeks nice and warm. The dash is digital, bro, so if I change the mode I want it to be in, so we got the comfort mode, we could do the eco-friendly so it turns blue and sh you got sports mode so it uses that twin turbo. I'm probably boring the shit out of you. Don't fall asleep, stop, wake up. Bro, this bitch is parking itself, bro. What? I swear to God, bro, I'm not doing diddly shit. <laughs> Valentine's weirded out. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. This is wicked. Yeah, bro. I don't know. It's uh, it's cool. It's vibe. What you what you think? Nah, I mean, I, I fuck with it. You fuck with yeah, it? Yeah, it's Man, cool. It's cool. Right? Nice little vibe. Um, this one unfortunately doesn't have the thing here, so you have to do like these. Mm -hmm. Is this considered a sunroof or a moonroof? As long as you can see up in that bit, it could be whatever you want. It could be a HD TV if you want. <laughs> uh, passenger side, fully adjustable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know why it's got a CD player. I haven't listened to a CD since 2008. <laughs> Eco-friendly so I can get back and forth to Arizona and shit. So it's cool, bro. Have, you got Let me ask you a question real quick. You broke in the back seat though? I don't know. Like, like, like. Oh God, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> I beat my meat back there though. So right where you're sitting. Anyway, oh. I mean outside of that, my bad. I didn't. I didn't even let you. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, you guys come in. I'll go ahead and let you guys. You guys first seat. Yeah, go ahead. Here you go. Go ahead. See the front. How does the front feel? Is that better? Yeah, it feels. It feels better in the back seat. Is that sure. better, guys? Yeah. Sure. You guys like that? You like that right there? Nice. All right. Get the Get out, get out of my car, get out of my car. Hope you guys enjoyed. That is my car tour, there's really not much to it. I mean, trunk space, just hell of a trunk space. Nighttime driving is such a vibe. I don't know, what are we gonna, what are we gonna call this whip? So we had Wolfzilla, which was the GTR. Then we had Panda, which is the X4. I don't know what to call this. I'm also thinking, I mean, obviously I'm gonna tint the windows. Yeah, you gotta wrap it, you gotta do the whole nine first and then call it. What are we gonna call it? But And then I'm, oh, I was no. thinking maybe two-toning this bitch. Okay. So yeah, that'd be hard. I uh, know cream interior, so that's gonna be a pain in the ass when the dogs are back there, shitting, throwing up and stuff. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What what should we call? Five thirty. What should we call it? Five thirty. Because this is not my last. I know this is not my last car. I'm gonna get another car, and this is gonna keep happening <laughs> for a year. Yeah, this is clean. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? I'm just. I'm just re chilling my eyes. <laughs> You're chilling your eyes with frap. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you doing? I need to get these. Like, close your eye for a second. Just I need to get this like, car uh, uh, tinted ASAP because it is. You can a, see clear as a, day in here. It's a virgin car. Yeah. No, it's a virgin. For sure. Wait till I get it wrapped, two tone, like, tinted. It'll look clean. This 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 will look fire. Yeah. But look look at it real quick. Give me your eyeball. Huh? Just try this. Close your eyes. Ah, doesn't that feel nice? No, it doesn't feel nice. It hurts. What? What? What do you think about the car? It's nice. I'm just kidding. It's not really my car. I've just been renting it. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> what?